Hey. You headed down? How's it check? Yeah, I'm in Perth right now. I got to run out and land a look at a house that somebody was trying to do a trap out on and gave up. And yeah, I mean, that's what we like, quitters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to, to uh, Mimi's house, drop point. There's a fine old Fleetwood passing me. So anyway, I got to go out and look at this job and then I'm going to head to Biloxi. I don't have anything else to... I'll probably stop in at a Dollar General and grab some scouring pads or something to try to clean that wall and soft it off with because it's going to have wax all over it from being that high being there that long. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. This morning I'm out looking at a job where someone was trying to do a trap out and gave up on it and um, now they're to the point where they need a cut out so I'm going to go take a look at this one but after I look at this one we've got a, a big open air colony to go do and my brother's going to be joining me for that one which is wonderful because I enjoy working with my brother and I hadn't got to do it much in quite a while I think this is our address here yep and so Tommy will be joining me on this open air colony that I think is going to be pretty big here's our guy morning, morning. how you doing All right. but he had... my short ladder's in the bottom of the truck right here to your left we got to figure out how we can get to them i don't think we can get through that side and we don't really have much room over here so it's going to be tight it's bigger than what it looked like in the picture yeah it's a big one here we are y'all Hey, hey, hey. Giant open air colony. It's on, stu on stucco. That's going to be a pain to clean. <laughs> I, brought a, I brought a brush on a drill. Did you bring some paint to put over it? Because <laughs> no. uh, we ain't going to get all that cleaned up. I know, and they're probably, they're probably eating the paint off of some of that too. We'll see when we get in there. But I went by AutoZone and got one of those plastic tire brushes, tire cleaning brushes for a drill. So that's what I'm gonna try to use for the cleaning of the stucco. At least we got air conditioning. <laughs> it's beautiful. If we can get beside it, it's, there's not a lot of room. On the back side of it, we definitely can't get, but uh, we're gonna try to set up over here somewhere. Doesn't like an air conditioner matter right in the way. I know. Barbara, y'all. She is the. Right here? Anywhere, right here. Right. This is my bee store, and they are kind enough to take my bees down. I'm very excited about it, but unfortunately, I'm very faint, so I can't stay and watch. This anyway, is the this reluctant is, beekeeper. Yeah. And uh, we're about to take very care of this proper. Very proud of the work they've done, though. It's really awesome. They have done a beautiful job, really. Work of art. Really. I mean, and and you can see where they are. It's just a. Uh, phenomenal place for bees we're right here on the bay they're getting they're getting to the benefit of all this brackish water and all this swamp growth that they love so much and they're in the shade so it's a good spot and yeah. you got to get inside because you i'm really faint. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> thank you all right it actually is kind of nice up in here with this air conditioner running it's flowing some air and up in these corners there's usually not any airflow so it's really helping we're having to set the ladder up at a crazy long angle. Only thing holding the bottom is this unit. Just no room around these units for the width of this ladder. I got a bee allergy and I really don't know what to do if I should run or continue to watch this. Uh... See that tall grass behind you? Yeah. Stop, drop, and roll. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> you 
was like eight years old and you ever been stung by a bee? Wow. Now is there a certain frequency or you got to be humming when he's up there doing that? Yeah, he's whistling. <laughs> Whistle while you work and they yeah. won't sting you in the face. He's gonna stay, he's gonna get on the on the honey uh, the honey uh frequency. And that's not pissing him off too bad, huh? <laughs> the ones that are in the canister are pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> when they when they go in the vac, yeah. When they go in the vac, it agitates them and they put off an alarm pheromone, and, and it can sometimes where that vac's hanging, it, it's kind of blowing their scent back up onto him while he's working. I believe Barbara's releasing those hormones. <laughs> you might want to back off today if you're allergic. I'm not allergic. I'm not allergic. Here. You want this? Hang it up there? No, we're good. You just have one in his eyeball. Did it bite you? It stung me in the eye, bro. You know what that means? Puffy eye tonight. Yeah. Uh, probably 15 to 18, something like that. Now, is he going to find the queen in there or she fall? No, we'll, we'll find her. We'll either vacuum her or find her, and that's what this clip's for. I want to come up the ladder and get closer to film, but I don't want to have to buy AC unit when this ladder breaks loose with me and him both on it at this hard angle. It's at about a 45, it's at about a 50 degree angle. And uh, it's a it's a uh, 300 pound low rated ladder, but, and Tommy's not that big, but uh, two of us on it at that angle can't be good for it.
that everything? Uh, I think so. Odd enough for you? You bet. Yeah. It's just the skinny guy. It's hot out of here. Yeah. Warm enough we ought to be out there on Back Bay on a boat. I know. Or in the water. I don't mind just being in the water. I don't have to have a boat. I'm finna get in the water. <laughs> Fix and wash my honey off of my legs. <laughs> That's a queen trap in case you drop her. <laughs> she sticks in the hair in your legs. That was that. Another beautiful open air colony. Masterfully done by the one and only Thomas P. McCaffrey. The first with a ground assist by yours truly. I tried to get up there and he wouldn't let me. Now nah, I got it. Now nah, I got it. Need a break? <laughs> now I'm good. Now, my, now my legs are just like this from being on a ladder <laughs> got the jelly legs i didn't mind staying on the ground my knees are still bruised up from a job yesterday up and down off the ground in a shed that i didn't fit under the shelf in not comfortably anyway oh everything bvac still chugging along close to 350 removals on this one vac it's gonna need a little cleaning this time <laughs> <laughs> got a little bit of honey on it you're welcome We've also got some extra helpers. All right, you got everything. I'm going to grab my shoes and socks. <laughs> I thought it wasn't too hot out here. <laughs> the ground is hot. <laughs> Why don't you grab that water hose back there and wet the, wet the uh, sidewalk all the way to the truck? Well, that's about 100 foot, so. Well, it'll spray that far. Nah. You want, me, you want me to hand your socks to you? I'll just hot foot it. You want me to hand your shoes to you? Keep moving. All right, well, go. <laughs> one, two, three, go. You want to see this on video, don't you? <laughs> I've got rocks on my feet. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to go get a snow cone? Uh, no. <laughs> For my feet? Yeah. You forgot your money. Uh. Your money's here. Okay. Come get your money. I ain't coming to get nothing. I'll bring it to you. Wow. Hey, babe. I'm done. Hi. Done and about to head home. Do you want a snow cone? Oh, wow. Let's see. My favorite place? Yeah. <laughs> no idea. What flavor? Oh, uh, wedding cake. All right. With all the extra bells and whistles. With all the, the make it sweet option. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> okay. Wow, looks like I'm one lucky girl. Um, with a smoking hot husband and a snow cone all on the same day. <laughs> oh, I have to meet this guy. Congratulate <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Reminds me of that. Yep. It's a limo. Yep. It reminds me of that uh, guy that was in um, Am Amway that Daddy was so proud that he knew. Remember that? Yeah. We went to the house one time. He had a Cadillac limo. Daddy was I don't know how many times I heard, he's a double diamond. <laughs> I can't believe you don't remember that. Go, do you remember sleeping under the chairs at the Amway sh conventions and stuff? Uh, Not really. <laughs> I guess you were young. I think you remember the Amway conventions. I remember that. But never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams, buddy. You can make double diamond. <laughs> All you got to do is sell soap to 5,000 more people. <laughs> but he had...